Hi, my name is Markus from crosstech.de and today I'd like to introduce you Breezing Forms Google Spreadsheets integration. What is Google Spreadsheets? Google Spreadsheets is a uh, um, yeah, like its name says, a spreadsheet application that is uh, completely uh, running in a web browser or uh, installed in the cloud. And it enables you not just to, um, to work uh, with the, your submitted data in, uh, in your web browser, but it also enables you to uh, collaborate um, with other people, sharing uh, your spreadsheets and working on them, etc. And... Um, yeah, basically you need two things in order to make the Breezing Forms integration work with Google Spreadsheets. You need uh, the Breezing Forms plugin that ships with Breezing Forms and you also need a Google account and within that Google account you'll find the drive um, option here and there you will be uh, able to um, create spreadsheets uh, and other things. So in order to get started we need to install the plugin. You will find this plugin in the add-ons folder of your Breezing Forms package. Um, there are two versions. Uh, we are choosing the version for Joomla 3. After installing we need to uh, enable this plugin and by going to Breezing Forms I already created a, a little contact form here. Uh, and in the quick modes, advanced step for example, it also works in other modes, but here it will be in the advanced step under more options. Uh, you'll find the Google Drive um, option here. Um, before we start, um, I would like to uh, create a spreadsheet first in, um, in my Google account, which is done here. And give it some title. Using forms Google Spreadsheets. And now what we have to do is we have to um, to create uh, our uh, our titles, our uh, column titles. And um, here it is important that you just use lowercase um, titles. That's a limitation of the um, library, of the Google Spreadsheets library. So what we have here is uh, the name of the person who's filling in the contact form and the subject and the message and the titles must also be uh, the title columns must, uh, must also be in the first row uh, of your spreadsheet this is very important and again there are no uppercase letters allowed there are no numbers allowed no spaces um, just simple uh, characters and by going back to uh, breathing forms I enable my uh, spreadsheets account now so saving the first time will give us uh, one more option the available spreadsheets, uh, spreadsheets. Um, the next step it will uh, offer the worksheets with this, with this, uh, which is sheet 1 and in the very next step we are able to assign here in that case we have three form fields assign the, uh, the, uh, the names from the, um, the column names from our spreadsheet uh, with breathing forms and here we connect the name this is the name uh, that you gave in the spreadsheet this is the name you gave in the form and here we choose the subject and here we choose the message these are metadata fields um, we'll come to that later and by saving it We'll have it basically done. So um, now let's try to make the magic happen. Um, when I open the, uh, the form, I fill it in for example, with my name and a subject and some message. And right away, we're moving over to our spreadsheet and we see that the data is appearing already. So if we are going back to um, to Breezing Forms, it, we will see that it's uh, stored in our record management, um, but also in our spreadsheets. Um, we can give uh, some more uh, information with each uh, submission. Um, this is what you saw uh, right in the beginning. It was the metadata fields assignment that you see here. 
So let's say you would like to <coughs> to um, see the, the date and the time in your spreadsheet. Then you can simply uh, create two columns. One is date, one is time. And we um, have to reload this here, so it will get the, uh, the update from the spreadsheet. And then we can choose the date and the time, saving it again, <coughs> opening a preview. And again, I am dropping another message. And you will see in your uh, spreadsheet uh, that it automatically takes the, uh, the date and the time. And yeah, um, you have more metadata options. It's quite uh, self-explanatory. Um, you have the record ID, the form ID, I will be transmitted the form title if needed, the form name, the IP, the user agent that has been used, the user ID, the username, and the, uh, the full name. So that's basically it. Um, what you can do with the spreadsheet itself, you best um, you best check the Google uh, documentation for spreadsheets. But as I said, the big strength about this uh, Google spreadsheets is that it um, enables you to collaborate with your data. And now um, you have the ability to use uh, sophisticated reasoning forms, based forms, uh, to integrate with um, Google spreadsheets. I hope you liked our presentation and I hope we we'll see you next time in our next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.